All right, folks, welcome back. It is Friday, the 26th of April. Um, it's currently 8.30 p.m. Uh, we're back here from work, outside the shop. I got the motor block right here, masked off. I've been painting on it. Um, haven't really done anything other than that as far as assembly. Uh, we're going to change that tonight. But first things first, I'm going to put a headlight assembly in my wife's grandmother's Equinox. Is something hit it from behind and cracked it, got water in it, and corroded all the uh, bulb sockets. Anyway, so we're gonna pull this into the other side of the garage quick because it's gonna rain here soon. Um, we're gonna pull this in and throw that tail light assembly on there, and then we will work on assembling the motor. I got three coats of paint on there right now. I'm gonna do two coats of clear on top of the green, and then we'll grab it with the cherry picker and put it on the uh, engine stand, and we'll start working on it. But we're gonna put this headlight or tail light in here first. So I thought I'd take a minute and show you guys our horses for a second. You'll understand in just a minute. But uh, anyhow, this is our little horse barn setup that we got for right now. Oh, that's nice. So it's just a old uh, billboard actually wrapped around this thing and it works really well it also helps like desensitize the horses to tarps and stuff but anyway we'll go walking this way so I wanted to show you guys a couple of our horses that we have over here at our place now uh, this one right here her name is Stormy she's a three-year-old uh, she was our first baby horse that we had on the farm she's real nice my wife's actually training her herself so that she can ride and do all the good stuff and then over here we have this little one is misty obviously she's very small she's new this is her mom rosie this is also stormy's mom rosie and that's little misty she was born uh, a little less than a week ago at the filming of this video and uh She's real great. She loves people and super friendly. And then her mom, Rosie's a real great mom and just likes to keep her safe. And then over there is the old man, Sam. He's 25 years old and we like him, but he was my wife's first horse. These are our beef cows, Bullet and Bronco. And then right up here, we got the 85K20 sitting there. And right now it's got a... Uh, transmission leak at the fitting on the 700R4. But anyway, back inside the shop, there's the end. And we'll just grab it with the crane a second and move it over to where it needs to be. The easiest way that I've found of putting the engine on the engine stand is to remove that uh, plate that you bolted to and leave it on the cherry picker. And then uh, hook, push the end and stand into it while it's on the cherry picker. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my red plastic gauge. It comes in a little uh, package kind of like this. Um, this is what it came in with the green stuff. The green stuff is for uh, a 001 to 003. I think well, I'm looking for like a 003 clearance, but I'm going to go with a 002 to 006. Um, measuring so that's the red stuff <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and lay a strip of this stuff on the inside here you peel this apart maybe if i can get it apart Let's see right here yep so inside we got that little plastic stuff so you lay a little bit of this on each one of the journals here and then you put the bearing and the cap on and uh, torque it down 
and then you bust it loose, pull it off, and measure the squished thickness of the feeler gauge versus right here, and that will tell you your oil clearance. So that's what we're gonna do. I ended up having uh, three thousandths of oil clearance, which is just about perfect what I wanted. And so right here, I'm just putting uh, torque lube from ARP on the main studs and bolting those down and then installing the cam bearings here. So I started with the number five cam bearing in the far back and then worked my way forward. And then when I, when I went to do the front most cam bearing, I actually put the engine back on the cherry picker so that uh, the plate wasn't in the way. Okay, so what we got so far, we got the crankshaft in with all the bearings, all assembly lubed and everything like that, all torqued down. Spins over by hand real easy. That's great. Uh, actually, I, uh, I had one of these caps on backwards, but uh, we fixed that. So Initially, I had it on backwards and it wouldn't spin at all, but now I've got it correct. My bad. A little too excited. Anyway, now it spins great by hand. Uh, I've got one piston in because we're going to put the camshaft in, put a head on, and degree the cam, I think is what we're going to do next before we put all the rest of the pistons in. Then we'll just pull that head back off and uh, put the rest of the pistons in, get those all torqued out. I just, I don't know. I, I want to degree the cam in first thing, so I'm just doing it this way. So we've got to put the camshaft in. Put the timing chain stuff on, get that all on. I've got the timing sprocket on the crankshaft. Uh, I set it to two degrees retarded. Hopefully that should give us a little more, just a little bit uh, more a low end operating range. We'll see. Um, shouldn't make too much of a difference. I obviously won't be able to tell because I've never had this thing set as regular. But, so I, I had gotten a new uh, harmonic balance. Okay. So I finally get to install a, the ISKI cam. It's a doorman, supposed Actually, to be really excited this. Here I am but moving this, it up. This area right here, lube, all over on this one, it, has some grooves in it where the seal it. is worn into it. So, so I put that all over that. Sealing very well. So yeah, I figured I'd get a new one. Lubed but I got this. And slide it in. And when I installed it, should have left the just now off. It would have been easier to get it in. To help press on the cam sprocket, the timing sprocket, it split right here because it's too small on the inside. So, I mean, it's dormant, so who knows? They're kind of halfway decent most of the time. But anyway, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do, end up doing with this. I might end up grinding a little bit right there and try and weld it in and then get this back to flush, flat all the way around and still run this thing, but we'll see. Uh, I can run this one. It's the same, same weight and balance. It should be just fine. Obviously, it's orange. Not a big fan of the green and the orange, but I mean, it kind of looks like a pumpkin. But <laughs> anywho, uh, we're gonna go ahead and slide the cam in here and get the lifters in on cylinder one, push rods, put a head on here, rocker arms set, all that stuff, and go ahead and degree the cam. So that's gonna be what we're up to next.
So we got the cam degree wheel on here. I already did all the process. I forgot to record because I was trying to learn stuff and pay attention all at the same time. So anyway, uh, we got all that stuff. It all checks out good as far as the center lines and lobe separation, all that good stuff. That's all there. So uh, I just wanted to make sure of my valve lift. That's what I'm going to tell you guys about because the ISKI tells you everything with a 1.5 ratio rocker and these are 1.6's so with a 1.5 um, hold on a second so with the 1.5 uh, rocker the uh, valve lift is for both intake and exhaust is advertised at 5 or 0.525 and then I measured a couple different times and I got with it with my dial indicator as straight up and down as I could I got a 598 lift on the intake and 595 on the exhaust and within, you know, 0.2 thousandths or whatever of that, checking it again. So, um, increased valve lift, I still have over uh, 250 thousandths or 0.2, yeah, 0 0.250 of an inch of piston to valve clearance on both. Uh, exhaust has more intake has less because it's a bigger valve anyhow so those are my new valve lift specs i guess um yeah that's pretty exciting i'm glad i, I really wanted to get over like five five sixty uh valve lift and 590 is quite a bit more than that so and this is with a uh roller or not a roller pardon me not a roller it's a flat tappet it's a mechanical or solid flat tappet camshaft from iski so we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the intake, or intake, I don't know. We're going to get the rest of the lifters installed. Well, no, no. First, I have to put the rest of the pistons in. So i got to take the head off, uh, swap out my checking springs. So we've got these little 10-pound checking springs. i got to swap those out with the actual springs again, put all the pistons back in, and then I'll be ready to, to keep going after that. But anyway, that I just want to let you know where we were at so far on this thing.